let's go ahead and do a review of Neuron Writer. Now, Neuron Writer is a fairly new content optimization and AI writing tool. Essentially, you're able to do research on topics and keywords in which you'd like to write about. And this tool will do research against competitors that are ranking for this keyword and give you recommendations and best practices in which you need to follow to increase the likeliness that you'll actually rank on Google for that specific keyword. So let's go ahead and do a deep dive into Neuron Writer to see if it's a good alternative to some of the more popular content optimization tools such as Surfer SEO or Phrase IO. And also I'll go ahead and leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. Currently the lifetime deal is $60. So one time payment for $60 will allow you to get two projects, 25 articles. So that means you can optimize 25 new or existing articles each month. You'll also have 15,000 monthly AI credits and you also have some other um, features included here. When you compare that to other content optimization tools in the market, this is definitely on the lower end and definitely a good value for what you're paying. Now, once you have a plan, you want to go ahead and get started with a new project. So as you saw before, you have two projects included in the $60 lifetime deal. So you want to start by entering the website in which you'd be creating content for. My guess is that this would give the tool some information about the domain and the target audience or the keywords in which you like to go after. And as you can see, we have to set up our default search engine and language. So we're going to stick to the United States and to English, but of course you'd want to change this to whatever region and whatever language you're in. And once you've created your project and added in your domain, you want to go ahead and start with the content writer. So this is where you'd be able to write or optimize content with the help of the best SEO and natural language processing guidelines. So you'll be able to analyze SERPs and competition for the given keyword. So this is similar to Surfer SEO's content optimization tools in which you'd go ahead and enter a key term and then the tool will go ahead and do an analysis for the top ranked blocks for that specific keywords and give you some recommendations in which you need to follow if you want to rank for that keyword. Once you figure out the keyword or the topic in which you'd like to write about, you'd want to go ahead and enter that in this section here. So for this example, we'll be writing and researching a blog post about the best credit cards for teens. And again, you want to change the search engine and the language to whatever region or language that you speak. And once you're happy, just go ahead and click start. As we can see, the results are being loaded here. So the tool is going ahead and grabbing all of the results. And as you can see, it's finished. Um, we have a difficulty level of seven, but let's go ahead and take a look at the results that we got. So Neuron Writer has went ahead and analyzed the top 30 um, blog posts or websites for this specific keyword. Now, this is very important because it doesn't only um, analyze the first 10 listings. It actually went ahead and analyzed 30 websites. So this is really good because you have a lot of information in which you can work with. And you can also go ahead and select which blog post you actually want to analyze. So sometimes when you're doing research for a specific keywords, you may find that Wikipedia or Medium or a YouTube video is actually in the search results. You'd want to go ahead and remove irrelevant search results just so that you're comparing apples to apples. So you want to go ahead and read through these different um, blog posts here and find whichever websites that you think are most related to the blog post in which you're writing and the niche in which you're writing for. And again, on the left hand side here, you can check or uncheck any websites that you want to include within um, your content analysis. Starting from the left, we can see the rank. So this is where um, these blog posts or websites rank for this specific keyword. And on the right of ranking, we'll see the content score. Now, this is a number between zero and 100. And the higher the number, the more optimized that content is. So if you search up for a specific keyword and you see a lot of reds or a lot of oranges, then that's a good sign that if you went ahead and created some very in-depth um, content, you have a higher chance of ranking for that specific keyword. On the right side here, we see the length, so the amount of words. This will give you a nice idea for how long of a blog post you need to create if you want to compete with the top 10 or the top 15 or top 30 blog posts for that specific keyword. And we can see the page title and we can also see the URL. So you can quickly go ahead and click onto um, your competitors and go through their content just to have an idea to see what they're including. Um, so that you have some ideas of what you should include within your blog post. So once you've went ahead and you've selected or deselected the competitors in which you would like to compare, just go ahead and click update competitor section and continue. 
And on the next step, this is where you'll actually start to create your content and optimize your content for the first page of Google. And as you can see right now, our content score is zero because we have no content here. But as you increase the content and you start optimizing, your content score will naturally increase. In order to use the AI Writer, I would start by using the draft option. So this allows you to create an article draft. So essentially, you'll be able to go through some of the most popular headers included in some of the competitors in which you chose to analyze, and you can go ahead and include those within your article. For the most part, there's going to be a lot of overlap between what you include in your articles and what your competitors include in their articles. But you always want to go ahead and improve on those headers and be able to add some unique information to make your article stand out. But this is a really easy and effective way for you to start building your article. So all you have to do is um, go through and find whichever topics or headlines you like the best and just go ahead and add that um, into your article layout on the left hand side here. So again, go ahead, just read through these and whichever one you like the best, go ahead and add that in there. And once you're finished with your article layout, you can actually head over to guidelines and add a persona, a tone of voice, a call to action, and an article goal here. So this is really nice because again, you're able to really customize your blog post for how you like it to be. And once you're happy with your article layout, just go ahead and copy that to your editor. Now, as you can see, we have some headlines here and we have a pretty decent blog post outline um, that we created. Now, in order to generate content, you wanna go ahead and click generate. So this is going to use the AI writer that's included in Neuron Writer and generate some content. And this is the content in which we got back. So what is the best credit card to get for a teenager is the headline. And the text starts by saying that there is no best credit card for teenagers. However, some factors to consider when choosing a credit card, da da da, whether the credit card has good credit terms, whether it offers rewards that would be beneficial to a teenager. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and use that there. And now you just wanna go ahead and repeat the process. So again, what about prepaid cards? Let's go ahead and click generate. And I like that they already have the following terms in which you need to include. So essentially you don't really have to do a lot of heavy lifting. Everything is already preset. All you have to do is go ahead and click generate again. And um, let's just go ahead and do this a couple times and see if the AI writer gives us pretty good content. So again, the question talks about prepaid cards. Prepaid cards are like regular credit cards and debit cards, but you can only spend the money that you already have loaded into the card. Okay, so again, this is pretty good. Um, we can use that. Again, we're gonna continue going on. What is the right age to get a credit card for my teen? There is no one answer. Some experts recommend waiting until your child is 18 or older, while some say it's okay to get a credit card for a teen as long as they're able to handle the responsibility. Again, really good, really relevant text. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the same process by going to the different headlines in which we found and generating some content. And I'll come back and see how our full blog post is looking once I've finished doing so. And another way in which you can generate content using the AI Writer is by highlighting the content and clicking AI Start Paragraph. So the AI will start a paragraph based on the selected header text. So again, let's go ahead and click that. And let's see if there's a difference in the content in which we get back. So I don't know if there's a difference between using this method rather than clicking Generate. But um, you'd wanna go ahead and play around with that and see which one of them gives you better content. But it's nice to have a couple of different ways in which you can generate content. So for instance, if you found a term and you wanted to go ahead and generate some content, all you have to do is um, enter that term into your content editor and we're going to highlight it, it's a little bit weird. And once you highlight that, just go ahead and click start paragraph. Now, if you also wanted to expand your content, you can go ahead and select that content, click expand. And if you wanted to rephrase your content, you can also go ahead and do so as well. I actually got a lot of content back from the AI writer. Before I was getting maybe three to four sentences, but this is a full blog post paragraph here that we got back. So this is very useful. And I've went ahead and actually read through that and the content itself is pretty good. So the issue sometimes with these AI writers, especially when they're built into an optimization tool is that sometimes they're not the best and you're not able to get a lot of content from it. But for the most part, I'm pretty impressed by the content and the quality and relevancy in which we're able to get back from the AI that's built into this tool. And once you start pasting and creating your content in to the content brief, 
you'd be able to see the percentage of um, times you've used that specific keyword. And you'll also be able to see if you've included them in the optimal range. So those in green are the content in which you've um, included within the optimal range. And for those in gray, you'd want to go ahead and include them a couple more times within your articles. But as you can see, you can go ahead and go through some specific keywords and include them within your blog post if you haven't. Obviously, you won't be able to include all of these keywords, but you want to go ahead and include the most used keywords within your article because that's going to help you with your on-page optimization. And when the Google bots go ahead and read your article, they look out for those specific keywords because it'll tell them what this blog post is about and it'll increase the likeliness that you'll rank for those specific keywords. And if you run out of any ideas for your content, you can go ahead and click the ideas tab. And as you can see here, you have questions in which you can include. So these questions are pulled from Google. So again, if you wanted to go ahead, you can add those um, on to your content brief on the left hand side here and go ahead and highlight that and start a paragraph and start getting some content. And another cool feature included in Neuron Writer is the ability to pull ideas from YouTube. So it'll actually run your specific keyword in which you're trying to rank for on YouTube and give you some relevant YouTube videos. This is actually a very useful feature because you can go and watch a couple of YouTube videos and include some very unique information within your blog post. So instead of just looking at other blog posts that are ranking for those specific keywords, you can actually go ahead and look at some YouTube videos, which will give you some good ideas of content that you can include within your blog post to make your blog post a little bit more unique. And as you can see, our content score has naturally been improving. But of course, for us to get into that 80 plus zone, you want to include a lot more content. As you can see right now, we have 1300 words and we need over 1700 in order to rank for those keywords. And once you're finished, and once you're finished creating and optimizing your content, you can go ahead and export that and post it onto your blog post. All in all, I think it's a very good and a very affordable content optimization and AI writer. I like that you're able to write and optimize your content all within one place. It's rare that you're able to find such a powerful and useful tool for just a one-time payment of $60. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay well.